I picked up this vintage Japanese hammer on eBay to use with my hand planes. What makes this hammer ideal for Japanese hand planes is the octagon shape and relatively lightweight. It's 215 grams or seven and a half ounces. The hammer is light enough that it allows micro adjustments by tapping the blade or the, the plane body. But most of all, the, the flat sides allow the hammer head to slide against the blade whenever you're setting the chip breaker. The original handle was made from oak, but since this hammer isn't gonna take a lot of abuse, I thought it'd be nice to make it out of some olive wood my neighbor gave me. Whenever I do rough mill work, I like to use my great grandfather's Bailey number no. five. I really like that connection to the past whenever I use his tools. Once the blank was roughed out, I made three side squares so that I could cut it closer to the size I needed for the handle. I did some rough shaping before setting the hammerhead, but I think next time whenever I do something like this, I'll set the hammerhead first. Mark out the dimensions of the eye of the hammerhead on the blank. You'll start removing material slowly. Check how the head fits, and then remove a little more as necessary till you get a real tight fit. I didn't expect everything to be 100% square. All these layout lines are based off of how the hammerhead is sitting on the rough handle. Sorry I lost the footage of this part, but uh, now all you gotta do is connect the points so that you have a shape. We've been working on two faces so far, and now that you've squared those up and shaped them, you can move on to the other two sides. <laughs> Sorry if I bought your screen name, but Magina Shun on Instagram had a great idea for keeping the lines of the handle more square so that they match the hammerhead. <laughs> Thanks, man. I let the hammerhead sit in some vinegar for about an hour. After that, you can use a brass brush to remove most of the rust. The rest of it can be removed with some sandpaper. So my original idea was to re-blacken the hammerhead by heating it and quenching it in oil. What I ended up doing was treating it almost like I wanted to season some cast iron. I'd apply some vegetable oil and then evenly heat the hammerhead using a torch. Eventually I smartened up and used a toaster oven. I put some oil on it and heated it up for 30 minutes at a time at 400 degrees till it got the level of black I was looking for. The handle on this hammerhead is really tight right now, so I'm not going to put a wedge in it. <laughs> that may change later when the hammerhead flies off someplace. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you for watching. Part of Shop Dog Cameo's next. If you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to find out what's happening behind the scenes, there's some links for social media sites in the description. Get out there and make something, and we'll see you next time.